Liu Lanying in her 40s from Jilin province, went to Beijing to appeal for her case, but was arrested and detained in Beijing Jianping Mental Hospital. While being detained there, she never saw any doctors or nurses. The detainees were mainly practitioners and Falun Gong practitioners. The hospital was full of policemen and high thugs. They were armed with leather belts and beat the detainees at will. Miss Liu was detained there for three nights. Every night, three thugs respectively nicknamed Big Head, Long Hair and Mute would come into her room she shared with others and gang raped a nine-year-old girl. The little girl let up using screams of pain and agony. Big Head was always the first one to jump on her, followed by long hair and mute. She was paralyzed from the gang raped and urinated and defecated on her bed. Miss Liu was told that the little girl's parents were both Falun Gong practitioners. They had been detained there together. After her parents died from torture there, the hospital should have sent the girl to an orphanage. However, the hospital still kept her there. The innocent, hapless orphan of Falun Gong practitioner was only nine years old. Every night, she suffered unspeakable brutalities by the gang of thugs. No one in the room dared to stop them. It was so horrifying, like a living hell. There was another young woman who had also been a victim of rape by the same gang. She had already lost her mind and got pregnant. One night, after having finished with the little girl, the thugs wanted to rape the young woman. She screamed and resisted. Big Head tied up her lips and slid his hands into her skirt. Upon seeing blood flowing down her legs, Miss Liu was trembling with fear by the scene. She stayed up night after night in extreme fear. Horrified by the sounds of desperate scream, she said, Petitioners like us still have the chance to be released if our families find where we are detained and protest against our wrongful imprisonment. However, Falun Gong practitioners would be kept there, tortured or gang raped. Ms. Liu added, Media are supposed to expose such outrageous brutalities and let the general public see who is the real evil code. The Chinese Communist Party is the real evil code and the biggest of them all. Committing unimaginable savageries, Jiang Zemin is an outright beast. There are even more brutal cases than what the little girl went through.